Hello race fans and racers. We're only 14 days away from the 29th annual Harris Clash held at the legendary Deer Creek Speedway in Spring Valley, Minnesota. In this video, we're going to mention some things today, uh, just different notes that you're gonna wanna know about, especially if you're a racer coming to the event. First and foremost, we highly encourage pre-registration. By pre-registering, it's going to save you time and it's going to also save you some money. The thing about it is it shortens up the line at the racetrack because you'll be able to go right into the one line and then the other line will be the ones that have not pre-registered. This will save you time at the racetrack and it makes it a little more efficiently for everyone. We will have a supplier at the racetrack again this year. Action Engineering will be there to take care of all of your parts needs, your fuel needs, and your tire needs. Another commonly asked question is what gears to run? Well, it really depends a lot on the motor because some motors have, you know, some engines have more horsepower than others. But to give you an example, Sport Mod Crate motors run normally between a 543 and a 567. Sport Mod Open motors normally are between a 567 and a 583. In the modified division, of course, it's a lot easier for you guys to change gears, so it's not as big of a deal. But that ranges anywhere for a crate motor, depending on the racetrack and, and what, what area you're running, between a 529 and a 542. The open motors, nor normally we have heard numbers like a 583 for the open motor in a modified. So that gives you a general idea of the gear range. This racetrack is very fast. Uh, it's not a big racetrack, but it's a very fast racetrack. Also, we will have our new 2020 limited edition Harris Clash t-shirt on hand the day of the event. Uh, these t-shirts are going to be in another exceptional design, a, lighter, a lightweight, light colored type shirt that's going to be excellent for wearing it to the races. Once again, transponders are required. If you have your own transponder, please bring it. The only brand that these transponders and the system will not work is if you have a Westhold transponder. These will not work with the system that the racetrack has. If you don't have a transponder, IMCA will have transponders that you can rent at the racetrack. Uh, I think the rent's $20 and you get $10 back when you get the re return the transponder. So we've got you covered one way or the other, but if you do have your own transponder, uh, please bring it. It'll save you a little bit of money and save you a little bit of time. You will need to give, when you sign in, you will need to give them your transponder number so that they can record, keep recording the information and, and make sure that you're linked when you're up on the racetrack. Thanks again for watching this video. In two weeks, I hope to see all of you at the Deer Creek Speedway in Spring Valley, Minnesota for the 29th Annual Harris Clash. 